Hello friends, Leah here from Tabletop Bong. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the weed that you've already vaped, or ABV, which stands for already been vaped, ABV. What can you do with your ABV? And I'm just going to refer to the weed that you vaped completely already as ABV for the rest of the video, okay? I just want to make sure for those of you who aren't familiar with the term, already been vaped. That's what ABV stands for, and that's what everybody calls the weed that comes out of your vaporizer after you vaped it. So what a lot of people do is just throw that away. Well, there are ways to use that product that's coming out of your vaporizer in all kinds of different ways. And I'm gonna just walk you through that kind of quickly in this video and I'm gonna make some recommendations about uh, different things and, and how to have the best ABV and exactly what to do with it. So let's start with what can you even do with weed that comes out of your vaporizer? Like you've already used it, you've gotten high with it, what more can you really expect from it, right? Well, you, you have a bunch of options, believe it or not. You could just pitch it right in the garbage if that's what you want to do with it, but you're missing some, some really great opportunities. You can, uh, you can smoke it, you know, it's not going to be quite as nice flavor as if it's, you know, not been vaped, but you've already gotten high off of it. So you can then roll it into a joint and smoke it and get high again. Yep, you'll get high with the weed that you've already vaped if you smoke it for sure. Another thing you can do with it is if you grind it coarse, do a coarse grind before you vape it, you can regrind it and vape it again. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? But if you think about it, when it comes out of your vaporizer, it's the same as when you decarboxylate weed before making edibles. It's already completely active. So if you grind it again, and then you vape it, or smoke it, it's actually going to have quite a strong effect. So it's, you know, it's almost counterintuitive. If you really think about it, you vape it, you remove a bunch of the THC, and somehow, if you smoke it, you still get a real nice buzz, and sometimes it can actually be stronger. It really doesn't make sense, but it's true. So therefore, the other thing you can do with it is you can supplement your joint rolling with your ABV. So put two-thirds, let's say, or half and half, whatever, you'll, you'll play around with the ratio and you'll figure it out to, to get the exact perfect blend. But you can mix your ABV with your fresh weed when you roll a joint. And then you're putting actually decarboxylated weed in that joint. So you're likely going to really like the benefits of that joint. So is there anything else you can do with, with ABV? Yep, you can make edibles and you can make tincture. So that is very, very cool. You can also drop it in a cup of tea or a cup of coffee if you don't mind swallowing the weed. I mean, it's not a big deal, right? Or you can take something like a uh, graham cracker, put some Nutella on it sprinkle some weed on there, put another cracker, wrap that up in uh, tin foil, stick it in the oven on a, a low heat, maybe, you know, 200 degrees for, say, a half an hour or something, just to blend that weed with the fat. Of, and, and you can eat it that way. You know, you can make an immediate edible, or you can make oil with it, tincture, butter, like, you name it, whatever you can do as far as an edible is concerned. With regular dry herb, you can do it with ABV. So that is also really cool. So there are a lot of opportunities to, to save a few pennies along the way and to get even more stoned off the exact same weed that you just bought. And for me personally, I find that very exciting. I mean, I have looked for every possible way to use weed, you know, until there's no THC left and there is just no way to use it anymore. I have tried all kinds of crazy things and I'm going to share sort of the highlights with you guys as we continue to go through this video. So what, 
what is really cool about already vaped weed is the fact that it is decarboxylated. So it will give you a bit of a kick, especially if you put a few little tricks under your belt. So uh, let's talk about what these tricks are. So first off, grind consistency. Let's talk about that. So I'm going to show you two different grinds here. And hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. You can see this side is like a finer grind and this is a coarser grind. So if I'm looking at using a device that I know, and this is another thing we'll talk about, there are certain devices that will give you better ABV at the end. This little fella right here, the Mighty, Mighty Plus, is one of those devices, and the Volcano Hybrid. Honestly, they are magnificent for creating fabulous ABV. So, you know what? Let's create some ABV while I continue to speak here by ripping a bowl in this Mighty Plus. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in the end. So if I know that I'm going to be using my ABV for something specific, for instance, if I'm going to uh, be making edibles with them, then I'm going to save the weed that I vape with my Mighty, Mighty Plus, or my Vi Volcano Hybrid. That ABV is going to be specific for making a batch of edibles. I will coarse grind, okay, coarse grind. That leaves more THC in the weed when it goes to time to make it into edibles. Uh, it definitely just makes for a nicer end product if you go with a coarser grind. And honestly, with the efficiency of something like the Mighty, <laughs> you are going to get a nice buzz whether you go fine, medium, or coarse. I mean, it's going to work regardless. And if you think about it, if you know that you're using this weed for a second time, it's okay to use a little bit more when you're vaping it, right? That's the way I look at it anyway. I don't mind not pushing it quite as far and vaping, and this is a key thing. The lower the temperature you vape on, the better the ABV is that you're left with. <clears throat> so personally for me, the Mighty at 180 degrees, uh, let me see what that is in uh, 355 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius seems to be for me the perfect temperature with the Mighty. It is the sweet spot. It's where I like to use this vape if I go much beyond that. I'm coughing. The Mighty Mighty Plus just makes me cough on higher temperatures. At 180 degrees, 175 degrees, it is super smooth. But you're leaving lots, lots in the weed, which is cool. You know what, I wanna show you this too. So I'm gonna just rip this bowl through a desktop uh, walnut from Tabletop Bong. So this is a 250 mil capacity and I've got a purple aluminum unbreakable stem in there with six mil turp pearls in there for diffusion to uh, really make this stem so it will diffuse with a nice fine bubble and look at how pretty that is man I love how that looks with the walnut and and the purple together I, I mean I'm a big fan of purple I've loved the color purple you know when boys my age would get beat up for saying that I loved purple way back then So you can see at 180 degrees in the Mighty, I'm getting, you know, real nice vapor and I'm going to have a really nice ABV left. The beauty of it is when it comes out of the vaporizer, when you want to make edibles, you don't have to pre-bake the weed then. It's already done. So it's ready to go. You know, and it's the same thing if you're going to smoke it. It's going to be stronger because it's already decarboxylated, which I, I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's one last step when you want to make some edibles. Now, I have a few devices I don't bother 
saving the ABV from. Because when I hit it, I am absolutely pushing those devices to their maximum. Uh, so for instance, say, you know, anything in my Danny collection, uh, <laughs> I hit those things so hard. Uh, I'm heating them up big time, big time. You know, and I'm taking them as close to incineration as possible or my new Dynavap M+. Man, I am taking that thing right to the edge of incineration. It is unbelievable dark, dark ABV coming out of there because they're really high temperature rips, right? When you get, the closer you get to incineration, the less you're, you're leaving in the ABV. And it may not because, may not be because you've extracted everything, but it, you know, you're going to burn it off on those higher temperatures, right? Especially with, uh, conduction vapes, right? Conduction vapes are constantly cooking the weed, even when you're not drawing on it. When you get a convection vape, then you're pulling hot air through at the time, uh, you know, you're vaporizing when you're drawing. So that is a little more gentle on the weed for the ABV, leaving you a better ABV. And, you know, the Mighty and the Volcano, although they are hybrid, they're much more convection than conduction. The conduction is minimal. So it leaves you with a beautiful ABV. And when I'm vaping at this temperature with the Mighty, I'll vape it until it's basically either making me cough or I'm getting no more vapor out of it. And then I bake with it and it still works beautifully. Now, here's the ratio that I go with. Personally, this is how I do it. If I would normally use a full ounce of weed for the batch of edibles that I was going to make, if I'm using ABV, that I know has come from my Mighty and my Volcano, I just double it. That's what I do. I double the amount of weed that I'm using and they come out super strong. You release about two thirds of the active THC in weed when you vaporize it with a device like this. So that's still leaving a third in there. Right? And it's already, like I said, decarboxylated, so you're just ready to bake with it. Give it a try. You can save yourself a bundle of money on edibles and just a good time, you know, using weed that you've already vaped and had a good time with. And that's what's really, really fun about this. This is a second use on the same thing you've already gotten high with. And if you're one of those people that likes to vape sometimes and smoke joints sometimes, seriously, add some of this vaped weed into your joints so you're using a little bit less of the fresh dry herb and you'll get a kick. You'll see it and you won't really notice the difference in flavor after you've done it once or twice. You probably won't even notice it anymore, which is, you know, which is kind of cool. I don't really promote smoking a whole lot. Uh, you know, my channel is all about vaping. My bong system that I've invented is all about the vaporizer. But let's face it, if you're going to smoke a joint, you want to get good and high. So if you've got a little ABV that you can throw in there, one third, 50%, 25%, something like that, you're going to notice that it's going to, it's, it's definitely going to change your joint a little bit, change the flavor slightly, change the effect slightly. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. So, you know, you can really stretch your dollar by looking at some of these things. So if you want to make a tincture, you can even just take your ABV and throw it into, you know, say two thirds of a bottle of, uh, of grain alcohol, leave it in a dark cupboard and give her a shake. Right, give it a shake every day and you can leave it in there for a week, you can leave it in there for a month, you can do whatever you want to do with it and then strain it out. But you want to leave it at least, you know, a good week or so and shaking it up once a day. But your ABV is fully active when it goes in there. So if, you know, you funnel in, say, uh, a couple of ounces of ABV into two thirds of a bottle of uh, grain alcohol, you're gonna have yourself a real nice tincture and you don't really have to do much for it, right? It's already all done. It's weed you just got high with one time and 
just throw it in that bottle and give it a shake a day. That's a pretty easy way to make a big bottle of tincture. And if you vape CBD weed, same thing applies here. Same thing applies. If you vape CBD dry herb, you can make yourself a really beautiful CBD tincture with the ABV coming out of your uh, out of your devices. So if you know, <clears throat> excuse me, if you know that you're going to spend a lot of time uh, reconstituting your weed for things like edibles and stuff like that, consider getting, you know, the proper device like the Mighty, and I'll show you at 180 degrees. I've just been vaping away on that, right? And you can see it's, it's golden brown, right? But it's not... Uh, it's certainly not charred by any stretch, so there's still plenty of THC left in there uh, to to extract with with other methods, right? Whether it uh, be making edibles or tincture or whatever it is you're doing, there's still there's still THC in there. So you know don't don't put that in the garbage every single time. But if you're strategic in your thinking and you know you look at it like I do and say 180 degrees. That's a sweet spot. I don't want to go much more than that. I mean, it'll all work. You just have to add a little bit more. If you vape at 210 all the time, I would add three ounces for every ounce. So, you know, triple what you would do with dry herb. If you're at 180 degrees, I double it. You know, it, but it's, you play around with it. Get, get experimental. You'll figure it out. Uh, but there's all kinds of really simple, simple ways. And if you pick yourself up something like the Magical Butter Machine or something... Uh, you know what, I will do a review and show you guys the Magical Butter Machine and what I'm doing with ABV in a separate video. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about the ABV for, for you know, people who are new to vaping and maybe haven't run across this to understand all the creative things you can do with that weed that's been vaped. I just wanted to make a video and put that together for you guys because you know what, it's really nice when you can save a penny or when you know that you know you're gonna get blasted on edibles on a friday night you're like you're gonna get, have a really really good time and it didn't cost you a penny <laughs> to me that's a real great buzz i really really like that it's better than the same buzz that cost me 20 bucks right so anyway i wanted to share that with you guys and uh thanks very much for watching i appreciate it i hope that you got something out of this please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video or got anything out of it at all. Until next time, take care.